Hey guys, it's Jacoby Jones here, making a new video just walking through the town of Saint Chinion, starting at where the Venezuela River passes through. Today in the video, I'm going to be focusing more on the historic side of the town more than anything and showing you the sites. Um, this town, Son Chinion, dates back to the year 825 when a ministry was founded by Son Anion and the village grew around it. This town is about half an hour away from Bezieres, which is it's one of two of the oldest cities in France. Saint Chenillon is much more than one small town. It's actually 20 communities and a wine region producing mainly red and rose wines. Uh, this town has survived the Albigensian Crusade or the Cathar Crusade. Uh, this town emerged mostly untouched in the 18th and 17th centuries as a center for the manufacturing of high quality cloth. The house that we're staying at down the river over there is actually an old mill where they used to make cloth and they actually produced the uniforms for Napoleon and his army. Up here where I'm gonna to walk to, there's a, an abbey, it was the, the old ministry that's been taken down now. It was destroyed during the French Revolution and the village hall is up there where it used to be. I'm gonna walk in there and show you the old building and where everything used to be. So the revolution put an end to the cloth trade and the village had to rely almost mostly on wine. But in the late 19th century, there was an epidemic called phylexia that destroyed most of the vineyard's wine grapes. The epidemic was introduced when the Victorian botanists in England created specimens of grapes from America carrying the, the epidemic. Alexia and came through and destroyed all the grapes, wine grapes in the region. Up until before this crisis, the region was known for producing mass quantities of cheap wine. But after the crisis, the region changed their process to go for quality rather than quantity, which is why you can come here and taste some of the best wines in the world today because of the change. Now I'm going to walk up through the town and show you where the old ministry used to be in the abbey, which has been repurposed for other uses. Um, I think when I walked up there, I saw a library and some other parts of the building. Over here is a cool fountain and building. Really amazing little town. Just over here is the old abbey, which has now been repurposed for other things. I'll walk in and show you around as much as I can, and then show you this beautiful courtyard out here on my way up to where they have the markets and stuff up there in the middle of the town. So this must be the main courtyard. The old ministry used to be. Wow. It 
It's so crazy to be here knowing what happened here before and everything that's happened here. The Crusades, the Revolution. So I'm just leaving the old abbey now and walking through this courtyard. It's really beautiful over there. It's an old war memorial. I'm trying to show you. I don't want those people to feel like I'm recording now. I don't really know any more history behind the memorial other than the fact that it is a memorial for the fallen French. Over here you can see where all of the Saint-Chinion communes come together and have a market down here twice a week. I've been to a few of them, but I haven't caught in any on camera yet. Um, this is where people come together. They sell their produce and cheese and wines. And I suddenly stopped the video, but this is where it's all done. Um, I'm gonna find my way up to the spa now to get some essentials and then over to the restaurant. Thanks for watching. It's your boy Jacoby Jones. So a whole lot more to come.